What is up family, Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. This video, we are gonna talk about flipping your goals on its head. All right guys, what is going on? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I started the video with a kind of a weird statement, which is flipping your goals on its head. But I wanna give you first the normal way people approach their goals, and I wanna give you a really interesting quote in the middle, so stay tuned for that. Now I'm gonna give you something and challenge you to transform how you perceive your goals. You're gonna be much more successful if you look at things this way. When I ask you, what are your goals? If you're in medicine, you, you hear this question all the time. What's, where do you wanna be in five to 10 years? And you, you have some big ideas, right? Like you wanna become, if you're a pre-med, you wanna to go to this med school. Uh, if you're in med school, you, you wanna become this specialty. If you're planning a residency, then you may think about things beyond residency, uh, where you wanna live, what kind of practice you wanna, you have big goals, right? And to accomplish those big goals, you may say, I need to work hard, I need to make good grades, I need to be consistent, I need to be determined. And those are fine, those are true, uh, but they won't continue to motivate you every single day, right? There are days where you know you need to work hard, where you need to be consistent and determined, but the, the attractiveness of being lazy, procrastinating, sleeping in, all of those are more encouraging than the things I just mentioned. I do it too. There are days where I should be motivated and should wanna do my work, but honestly, sleep sounds much more uh, attractive. And so that process of going from present to future goal mindset doesn't always work. So I'm gonna give you a quote, uh, and I love quotes. So I'm gonna say this twice, because um, hopefully it hits home. How would the person that I want to be do the things that I'm about to do? I'm gonna say it again. How would the person that I want to be do the things that I'm about to do? When I first heard this, like it was mind blowing, because uh, it was so true. We take goal setting from a present to a future mindset. And honestly, the steps that we put ourselves in uh, which is get good grades, stay determined, are not, you know, really realistic uh, steps. They're just kind of directions. And often we don't always follow the directions, as I've mentioned. But if you use this mindset of thinking as your future self, you know, if you want to become a cardiologist, if you want to go to Harvard Med School, I'm just totally listing out examples. Um, but if you want these specific goals, think of yourself in that perspective of the person that's already accomplished it. Um, if you want to get into med school, if that's your main goal, think of the person that's already, think of you that's already gotten to med school, you know, a year, two years, whatever your time frame is, and ask yourself, what would that future me tell current me to do today, tomorrow, next week? And you're, go you're going to be very realistic with yourself. You're going to say that future me needs, uh, is probably going to tell me to get off of YouTube. So after this video, <laughs> the future me is going to tell me to uh, make sure I wake up on time. The future me is going to tell me to make sure I have a schedule to get more organized, whatever it may be. You're going to be very realistic with yourself when you start to talk as your future successful self, because you know that there are certain things holding you back and your habits and your practices that are not going to lead you to your future self. So your future self, you know, you talking to yourself right now are going to be able to identify those much easier. And you can do that day in and day out. You can get eventually closer to your future self. Eventually you're going to get there, right? And then you keep moving the finish line further down. Then when you are in med school, you're saying, okay, I want to go to this residency in this specialty. So then you start talking as that physician that's already in residency. What would they tell your current self, you know? What would they tell you? How would they tell you to study for your step one? How would they tell you to do on your rotations? Think about things in that perspective. It's not just medicine, right? Every type of thing uh, that you wanna get uh, good at, whether it's relationships, if you have a significant other, if you're married, if you're a parent, you have certain goals in those aspects too. So versus just being vague and saying, I wanna be a good husband, for my wife, ask yourself what your successful, you know, husband uh, self would look like in two to three years, and then see what advice that person would give you today. What would you do for your significant other? Same thing if your parents. So, think about things in that perspective. Hopefully, this was a different take on how we often assume goal setting, and that's why I said reverse it on its head. Because I think if you go from a future to present. Uh, approach, you will be able to look at things very meticulously, you'll be very critical 
but in a positive way and you're going to make the steps every single day more often than not to eventually become the person you want to be. So remember that. How would the person that I want to be do the things that I'm about to do? Um, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, give this video a like. First of all, comment down below with any questions, comments, suggestions, and I'll be happy to uh, reply and uh, follow up. But that's it for this video. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this on a weekly or daily basis, depending on where you're seeing this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, my friends.